Knowing Active Directory is almost like foundational if you want to work in IT, if you want to improve in your skills in IT. So we're going to be focusing here around giving an overview around what a domain is and what is Active Directory. AD is Active Directory. AD specifically is a Microsoft technology and it's in use across a lot of different organizations. AD is sort of the, um, the foundation that a lot of companies will use when it comes to administering a lot of the networks and a lot of the security around networks. AD is essentially a centralized hierarchy, uh, repository of user objects, computers, security groups for your network to be able to authenticate against a domain. So it's almost like a gatekeeper to be able to allow a user, for example, that logs into a computer, it authenticates against a domain, an active directory, and then grants that user access permissions to a specific thing on the network. To actually go and configure a domain and a active directory environment, it needs to be set up within a uh, domain controller. So you'll have yourself a Windows server, right? For example, Windows Server 2019, you then convert that Windows Server into a domain controller. And by converting it to a domain controller, you then install a whole bunch of AD tools, Active Directory tools, which then make your domain controller essentially an AD server, an Active Directory server with a relevant domain. When you're configuring your domain controller, you allocate a domain to it. So you give it a specific name. So for example, myhome.com that becomes your domain. Think about, for example, on the web, right? You've got an internet um, browser and you go to google.com. Well, google.com is a domain that is obviously publicly available out on the internet. Your domain is almost like a private network domain name that you give within your organization. You've also got what's called a forest. So you've got a forest and a domain. Essentially, a forest is the top level and then the domain is what sits within the forest. So you could have multiple domains within a central forest. What helps me is obviously to look at a visual diagram of what this looks like. So you can see right here what we're talking about. We, we should really show you a bit of an overview around the domain controller, and then you've got your Active Directory, your domain, as well as your forest, and all of your Active Directory domains sitting within it. And all of your relevant objects on your network will all talk and communicate with your domain and managed all within Active Directory. Hey, one more thing. We gave you a bit of an introduction to Active Directory. Now, if you want to learn more, right? This is the basics, what we've just covered, but I've got full length training courses available online. Check out my description, my show notes below on at least a couple of courses where we cover Active Directory in a lot more detail. We don't just talk about AD, we talk about group policies, the DNS, DHCP, and also a whole bunch of other Windows Server Windows Administration software. So check that out. I know that you'll definitely find it helpful. And I love that you stopped by and watched this video, but please do remember to also subscribe, clicking on the button and on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future video releases. Thanks so much for spending the time. We'll talk to you next time.